Hey everybody, it's Tom Cherams with the FujiNet Project. And I wanted to make a quick video here showing a rather unique uh, solution that we came up with for queuing during disk swapping. So there's been a dis bit of discussion over the last couple of days on how to handle disk swapping. And I think we all pretty much agree that the current rotation strategy works pretty well. That is pretty much rotate everything to the left. So, um, it would be nice, though, to know which disk you've actually just rotated. And Kyle22 came up with a very unique solution, I think, to uh, indicate this, as we'll see right now. We have uh, our FujiNet configuration here, and we have a copy of Zork side A and B in slots one and two. And I've got a save disk that I literally created by using the new feature here in config to create a new disk image to put on my file server here to save my Zork game. And I've already gone through and saved some stuff to it. We'll retrieve it in just a moment, but we'll go ahead and boot Zork. Okay, so now we need to insert disk two, so I will push the disk swap button. And there we go. Uh, thought it was a really not a neat, neat idea to have Sam take and indicate which disk is now in the slot. So Sam is actually saying whatever disk happens to be in drive one. And I think given all the possible use cases for this to actually work, this one makes the most sense. Okay, so we'll actually do a restore from my save disk, which is now sitting in the second slot. Drive one, and we'll push the disk swap again. Okay, so now three is active. And we need to reinsert our game disk, which I need to skip over the first one. And here we go. All good. So, I mean, what do you think, guys? 